Welcome to the Ran of Kutch. Well, I always heard about the Ran of Kutch. Now I'm standing right here in the middle of it. It feels like a paradise on earth. You can see nothing but just white sand and you're standing right in the middle of it. So we're setting off on our journey now. We're going to the run of Kutch. We've been pretty excited about this. And uh, let's see how it goes. But first we're gonna drive through something called the road to heaven. It's a straight road with water on both sides. And let's see how it goes. Good morning. Good morning. We're on the road to heaven. We spotted a place we could stop. So I guess we're gonna go take some pictures. Are you Patel, give me a hand at least. <laughs> okay, okay, it's rolling. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> we have a little traffic jam on the road to heaven. Seems kind of ironic. We're on the road to heaven. As you can see, there's water and salt pans on either side. And there's just one narrow road that goes through the middle. Uh, I've not seen anything like this and it's incredible. Like the feeling of just driving on this. The breeze blowing and like wind in the air. Happy days. So we drove through the road of heaven and then suddenly there's grasslands. Okay, right through when we came to Dolevera also, there's a particular plant that grows. I don't know whether this plant grows only in salt water wood. I don't see any more plantation much of this, except this. I, what plant is that? I do not know actually. That's the plant we're talking about. We shall solve this mystery too. Father on the run. Look at him. He's going to get the plant. Successful it's mission. Yeah, it's called Arinda. Father's got curiosity covered. He's got the guy to give him a little bit of the plant. He says they make an oil from this thing. Arinda. Very interesting. This is Arinda plant there, and you can extract oil from this. The oil that is actually used for the for the car or, or for the vehicles. Very cool. Interesting. We just checked in to uh, Tent City and uh, yeah, the check in process is very smooth. Absolutely. They welcomed you with the traditional Indian hookah mm -hmm. and then uh, they just asked us for the name, validated it and that's it and we were allotted our room. Nice. Our tent number is H20. So that's our tent for the night and uh, I'll show you what the inside looks like. Ta -da, ta da Mother, as usual, finding papers and getting excited. This is a very cozy tent. It's got an AC. They've got all your stuff here, which you can drink. <laughs> and uh, yeah. this is the washroom. Oh, 
Not bad. Not so bad. Happy days. That's it. That's it. We're so used to cream of chicken, and now we're having cream of corn flour. Ooh, sabu dana vada and samosa ma for lunch. See, he's taking paneer kali mirch <laughs> and then dam alu. The fact that I'm eating vegetables, my mother should be happy. I got like the most bloated chapati ever. Like it's still not going down in my mind. Okay, we're done with lunch. Uh, 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 too good. And uh, we're going back to the room. I found a barber in Ten City. Yeah. Well, let's go try it out. Got nothing to lose. Found this place uh, in Ten City. Guy's name's Ashutosh. He's quite busy, so he did a really good job, though. So this is for mainly people with beards. Small place, one guy only, but damn nice job. Last people to enter the bus. Tada, 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 ready? Our man is peeing right before he leaves, huh? So we're on a camel cart. This is the only thing you're gonna get the feel from this one. The camera and his butt. <laughs> so we got our coupon, now we're gonna go on the ride. Let's See, it's a picturesque, beautiful place for you for the sunset. But there are a bunch of activities you can do from camel rides to uh, riding an ATV, there's a dancing place. You can even go paramotoring. It was, it was cool. I mean, I wouldn't say it's the best thing in the world, but it's okay. I mean, for a while, if you want to go up into the sky, fine. Uh, but yeah, tons of activities, and it's just a nice evening. They attempt to make a heart with their hands. <laughs> Attempt to make a heart with their hands, part two. Attempt to get a heart, part three. Okay, this looks nice. And we're ready to go back. Camel's getting loaded. We're going back home now. We are being pulled by the ship of the desert. Ship of the desert. <laughs> Bye, buddy. See you. Yeah, buddy. This is how we spend the evening. Chilling on two chairs. Cheers. You know what time it is. Too good, sir. Too good. It was a day of relaxation, rejuvenation and fun. 
and how lucky I am that I could pick up some handmade purses and bags that were very beautiful. So I got up in the morning and it was such a beautiful weather. The ambience is so good here. It was just like, you know, I just want to run and run in here. But there was a session at around 6.30 in the morning, yoga session, and I went for it. And the instructor was so good, literally one hour. It reset my full mood and built up my body for the day. So we spent a day at the run of Kutch in Tent City. Uh, we drove from Dola Vira through the road to heaven, which was picturesque and beautiful. Then we got to our check-in area, where check-in was really smooth. We got the AC tents because it's hot in the afternoon. And it was really cozy and comfortable. Then they take you to the White Run, where, which is the highlight of the entire trip. Uh, you get to see a beautiful picture of sunset and do a lot of activities there. The meals on all three times are really brilliant. Like, it's veg food, but it's tasty, man. So you can't complain. And then there's a cultural event in the night, which is just perfect. Like, it gives you a total flavor of what Gujarat's all about. <laughs> <laughs> 